Hello, it's Jo from Emily Cat 176 uh, I'm running a little bit late today because as you can probably see, I'm in a different house. <laughs> I do house sitting um, occasionally and I am back where, uh, for five days uh, in this house. And if you just bear with me because I'm looking after three cats and one of them, Donald, he's a beautiful, sweet natured cat. But if you want to know what it's like filming with Donald the cat, go back and look at my Frankston Symphony Orchestra versus Donald the cat video. But I've just checked, he's sleeping at the moment. So I'll quickly do this before he wakes up because he just loves the camera. <laughs> And he keeps knocking it over. So, it's Friday. And as I said, it's a bit... I'm filming this a little bit later because it was... It's been such a busy day and things you've got to do with three cats. So, yes, I am a surrogate cat lady for the next five days. So, what I wanted to talk about today is Richard Osman. Now, if... Um, I'm sure... Some of you will know who that is. The Thursday Murder Club books. I have read, there's four of them. He was someone who was on a, a, a game show and then he started reading, writing these books. And as I said, I have read all four. They are well-written books. They're in a particular genre in the murder mystery range as I said they're very well written but he's done four and now he is bringing out another series we solve murders now if you look at the thumbnail you will see I can pre-order that on September the 18th everything I've looked at he's he is um, it's coming out in September and the way the year's going, it'll be September before we know it. So, I know a few people actually who have pre-ordered it. I don't know if I'm going to. I might, as I said, I'm keeping to my, my thing last week. I'm not borrowing any more books and I'm not buying any more books for August. But we're talking about September here, so I could, I could go and buy it or, or borrow it. I could borrow it from the library. I'd probably have to go on a wait list because if they get really current books, there tends to be a wait list. But I'm just wondering, how many of you have read the Thursday Murder Club books? As I said, they're wildly popular. They're actually filming I read somewhere where they're, they're actually filming. I think they're filming the first one. So he's obviously sold the film rights, which of course is his prerogative. I'm not saying anything against that. But the We Solve Murders, from what I've heard, I think it's a father and daughter. I think, it, I think they've got a detective agency, I think. And... I couldn't imagine, as I said, these Thursday Murder Club ones, they're well written. I couldn't imagine that the We Solve Murder ones isn't well written as well. Because he is a good writer. Just excuse me, please. <laughs> Sorry about that. I could see him coming towards this way, but he's caught off again. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Are any of you planning on reading this new series? Will it be any good? You know, the expression, does lightning strike twice? Who knows? I know people who absolutely love the Thursday Murder Club books. And it was quite an, a good idea, you know. They're in a retirement village. And it is a little bit unbelievable. Well, yes, you could say it's a little bit unbelievable. It's a bit like, um, oh, back... Back in the 90s, I think there was a thing called Murder, she wrote. Everywhere she went, someone died. <laughs> and this one, yeah, four times there's a, a murder around 
these people. But even with that, as I said, it's a well-written, they're well-written books. And it's a bit of escapism, isn't it? These sorts of books. It's not as, and I don't think they, they're meant to be serious works of art. Because they're not, and I don't think they're, they're meaning to be, you know. So, so yeah, I'm just, I'm wondering how many of you are planning on reading the new series? I am tempted just to see if he can recreate what he had in Thursday Murder Club. I, I don't know. As I said, it, I think with the Thursday Murder Club, I did see him being interviewed and he said he will write more of them, but he had this other idea. And this is the other thing too. Do authors get sick of writing about the same characters? I suppose they could, couldn't they? I mean, we get sick of doing the same thing over and over again. I mean, I, I did read somewhere where they reckon Agatha Christie got sick of Hercule Poirot. You know, so it, it can't happen, can't it? But it's interesting that, that, as I said, he is, as I said, he is doing this new series. Anne Cleves. Now, Anne Cleves is one that has done, oh, well, I've read her, I've, I've read two of her early ones. And then there, of course, there's Vera. And then there's the ones that are set on Shetland Island. And then the Matthew Ver, I think his last name is. That's her latest series. And I have read some of those. And I think Anne Cleves in particular is an author that has really got better the more she's written. She, I mean, even her early ones, they were good. But I think she has really evolved as a writer. So, yeah, the Thursday Murder Club. If you haven't read it, maybe read it and see what you think. Because as I said, it, who would have thought that a series about, I think there's four, four or five, four of them, four people in a retirement village going about doing whatever they're doing would become so successful. It's in, it, 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 you wouldn't, would you? You wouldn't think that people would be interested in that. But that's where they're so well written. And really, who cares about age? It's just a number, isn't it? Anyway, so as I said, let me know if you've read them, the Thursday Murder Clubs, and let me know if you're going to read the new series. And are you, like some of the people I know, keen to and put a pre-order in? I said the 18th of September, we're early August now, so as I said, it's about a month away. But I'll think about that because I am going to try and just do library books now, not buy many. <laughs> Says me who's going to something today where I'm going to walk past the bookshop again. Oh, I'll, I'll be good. I'll be good. And I also review books for NetGalley and um, my latest one was Hemlock Bay. Now that one should be coming out very very soon. I gave that one I think it was four, four and a half stars. It was very good, very good. So this is what I might do. I'll do the NetGalley ones and then the library books. Maybe. <laughs> I, I, I can't help myself. I can't help myself. I just love bookshops. I just love bookshops. <laughs> anyway, as I said, I'm just looking over. I can see mm, Donald's woken up. <laughs> as I said, I'd better go. But as I said, if you want to know what he's like, what it's like to film around him, I said, check out that video. I left it all in because I said, this is what I'm trying to do. Because of course I get permission. I get permission from the owners before I, I say, can I film? And um, this house has actually been sold. So um, I'm coming back next month for a longer stay and then it's gonna, it's sold. Yeah. So I'd better get on with my day. I am seeing a show this afternoon. 
as I always am. <laughs> and I will see you on Monday. Okay, bye.